Creator's Child presents Double Body, Double Price. In this video, we're going to be revealing the incredible freedoms of God, but also the great price mystics pay to reveal heaven on earth. Get ready to be double wowed. I had woken up from an afternoon sleep and, a little disoriented, had begun to look around for Celia, my wife. And as I went towards the drawing room, there I spotted her. After I met Celia in the drawing room, I went back to the other side of the flat. Only, surprise, surprise, I encountered Celia again. Hey Babushka, you're here! But I just saw you in the drawing room. Really? Now that's certainly a double wow. Now a few years ago, we had shared with you a very similar experience where Celia had gone, had been in two places at the same time. It was incredible then. And it is incredible now, for it essentially asserts that we are not really physical beings, that we are lights, a cosmic consciousness that projects physical bodies into time, space and matter. Can this be weaponized? Now, I know that some of you will have your minds racing, thinking about a Hollywood, Bollywood, Collywood, Dollywood script, which has maybe an assassin in two different places. But we'd like to sprinkle a little, little cold water. Now, over the last 30 years, we have experienced some double body experiences roughly 20 to 30 times. A very large number, but clearly it is not something that we do every day. It's not something that you can, that we can really do on command. Maybe some people can. The other thing is that when it's usually happened to me or when it's happened to Celia, when the experience is happening, the ability to move and shift and coordinate and act in a very uh, coordinated fashion is, comes down tremendously. Spiritual experiences are exhilarating, but they can be disorienting. The price mystics pay for uncovering spiritual freedom. There is a physical cost to it. And you'll see what physical cost. Well... The emotions that are pulling us, that are tearing us apart and trying to get us to go in two different directions also means that our links between ourselves and our body, between ourselves and time and space, get shifted. Now between our spiritual and etheric bodies, and our physical body, there are numerous points of contact that hold it together. There are roughly about 190, 200 such primary connects and about 2,000, 3,000 secondary connects. Now what invariably happens in an experience where the body is being shifted or morphed tremendously is that these connects break. So one of the things that is very essential after an experience like this is to slowly try and get the many points to click back together. And if they don't, it can trigger off sometimes very serious illnesses. Child of the Creator, claim your skies. The spiritual is extraordinarily beautiful. It offers us incredible freedoms, wings, Skies, vistas, ways of existing. 
but moving from a self oriented to the earth to a self more linked to other skies can mean great disruption. So yes, do explore spiritual freedoms, but do so with caution and with respect. For deep spiritual insights, subscribe to our channel and visit creatorschild.com.